Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I want to add this to my video that I'm um, downloading and as I was downloading and editing the video, this series of earthquakes came in and I want to show you. It's like, wow. This is the monitor um, that I recently uh, got data from, from the crater um, there at Mount St. Helens. It's um, on the east side of that crater. Let me bring it in. So I thought this was fairly significant. And uh, because I already edited the video and I was in the process of saving it to my computer, I'm going to add this at the beginning because it will not be in my video. We got screaming here in magma. Um, yeah. Uh, a vent opened up is what it looks like happened. Yeah, so again, this is in the center of the crater of Mount St. Helens. And then we got another little one here. As many of you know, it takes me quite a while to edit and um, save it to my computer and then upload it um, to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube takes forever. So I also post on Patreon and I also post on Rumble. So here's the uh, rest of my video. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. And thank you for all the cups of coffee that I received um, this morning from you guys. Definitely going to need it. November 7th, 2023. And here's an update for Mount St. Helens there in Washington, the volcano. Yeah, it looks like it's gearing up for another eruption. Who knows when it'll happen. Um, they're not reporting, once again, yeah, the earthquakes. Here we got one at 948. You can see it on three different monitors. I do not have all the earthquakes posted here. You can see it's in the center of the volcano there up at the top where it blew out back in 1980. But the most significant was this monitor right here, USFR most significant for the three monitors that I'm showing you for the recent um, earthquake that I um, downloaded the data and figured out what the magnitude was. The last earthquake they have reported for everything for the last week um, would be this magnitude 1.4. What I got showing is for today, which is the 7th. And you can see uh, we don't have anything. This would have been at 1.48 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there's others here. It could be larger than what I figured, but it comes in as a magnitude 2.71. And I cut it off really short. Yeah, I probably would have put it over here. And if I did put it there, then let me go back. It would have been, um, let's see. Uh, a 2.83, but I gave them the benefit of the doubt. And let's take a look at the seismic signature. Let me pull it over here to the beginning. Yeah, this is um, fault movement. Oh, we got a couple here. That was clipped. But let me bring it over a little bit. Ah. Okay, let me bring it over farther. And make that bigger. Some of them are rounded. But it mostly looks because of the uplift. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pop. Now, one of these monitors, which I have new, let me find it here. Let me make this smaller and go back. Um, which is a monitor right there, smack dab in the center of the um, cinder cone or the caldera, if you want to call it that is this one right here EDM let me make that bigger because I noticed let me bring this down it went really small hold on well that was really odd the whole thing went blank when I went to uh, the, the data and I had to reopen it um right here yeah we got popping look at that let me go to the, the uh, spectrogram yeah and it, it started coming in 
so fast that the equipment couldn't pick up the signature it yeah it was screaming literally screaming now this would have been yesterday at 10 14 universal time 2 14 a.m now this is um like i said the monitor is in the center of the crater it's in the center but on the east side east dome mount st helens that's it i can't make that light up for you the other monitors that I have are, like I showed you, the one to the west and I have one to the south. Here we got some more screaming. Yeah, that's a little um, concerning. Yeah, I haven't checked the news. This is a slow moving tremor to see if they're got any type of uh, news article out about alerts um, that it could be getting close to eruption i believe that's the earthquake that i just posted no it's not i just checked okay so we got 312 today universal time and that comes in as a magnitude 2.08 let's take a look at its signature let me make that bigger now it's been clipped but it looks like fault movement where the it's doming yeah we definitely have uplift going on there all right, there's the monitor for SWF2, the spectrogram showing um, USFR. Again, this, this earthquake is not being reported. I mean, there you go. Okay, I mean, yeah, right there. Now, I know with Yellowstone as comparison, they said that they wouldn't be concerned until they started having magnitude 2 earthquakes. Well, they're having them at Mount St. Helens. Um, and they also said that they wouldn't be concerned about Mount St. Helens until they got to about two kilometers in depth, which they are happening. That's happening, too, at least for the ones that they're reporting. OK, let me bring this over. Um, the last one they reported. Um, oh, they do have this one. They're saying it's a 1.4. Oh, no, that. Yeah. OK. So either I missed it or they added it. They're saying it's 1.4, but it's not. It's, it's yeah, much larger. Okay, 2.2 miles in depth. Uh, the next one, which was yesterday, they're saying it's 1.2 miles in depth. Another one for yesterday, a 2.3 miles in depth. Um, some of these are much shallower, 1.6 miles in depth. Um, 1.2 miles in depth. This one's deeper, 3.3 miles in depth, 2.0 miles in depth, which means it's in the upper magma chamber. Um, the doming chamber is the way I would put it. Um, yeah, 0 0.8. Then we got two that are a little bit deeper. Um, another one shallower. Let's bring this down. 1.7, 6.4. Let me show you what I showed in my other video. Where these earthquakes are occurring is up here in this really dark area when they're that shallow. We got another shallow magma chamber and then um, the deep magma chamber. Let me see here. This here, remember if you watch my other video, is uh, the earthquakes that occurred back before the eruption in 1980. And this is where they're currently happening this image here does show you the kilometers how deep this these are um, zero would be at sea level um, five kilometers that would be um, between the shallow and deep magma chamber for five so let's one two three four five okay so four would be there along there let me bring it over and show you this so you can see which magma chambers where the earthquakes are occurring so um yeah so in between four and five would be here there's that little green spot let me bring it over again so you can see and compare yeah i, I really need to fix that picture okay okay so four would be there five would be there that's that little green spot. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it's got 
the magma chambers labeled. Okay. So this one was a 6.4, which would be from the deeper magma chamber. This would be the shallower magma chamber. Let's see. Let's see, 0 0.9. Yeah. And this is all they have for um, the last week. Yeah, last week. So they're not reporting them all. All right. So let's go to... Um, well, we got a small one right here when I pulled the files this morning. Um, 1304. Uh, let's see. Is that right? Oops. Right in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Right there. Okay, let's go to the seismic signature. I'll have to pull this up so I can click on it. Okay, I'll go there, and there, and there, and then I'll bring it back down. USFR looks like the best signature, which would be this monitor here. I don't have the new one put in um, that's on the east side of, um, yeah, the cone, the center of the, <laughs> I can't really say it's a cone, it's a, giant indentation i did mark out along the rim for past um eruptions they had, there was a lot of them um like this one i talked about sugar bowl that was in 850 or 900 a.d and then the pine creek um that one was somewhere close to maybe 3000 to 2500 years ago and i talked about that how down over here um, there's a viewing point where you can see, uh, the remains of the Lahar and the pyroclastic flow when that earth, um, volcanic eruption occurred. And I also talked about the goat rock eruption. I don't know if I have the date on that, but that evidence for that has been wiped out from the 1980 eruption. That was in 1801. Okay. And it's got what they, or used to have, what's called the floating island lava flow. Um, before St. Helens erupted in 1980, um, there was an area of um, magma flow that had three groupings of trees um, in the center of it. I don't know if it's big enough where you can see this. Um, here's an image. This comes from scientificamerican.com, but... Um, there's one, two, and a little one there. I seen one that was a little bit better before the trees died. So this one they still have not posted. Let me go back to the spectrogram. 704 Central Daylight Times when I pulled the files. Um, so that would be um, 504 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. And that comes in as a magnitude 2.13 another two yeah they're increasing in size yeah let's look at the seismic signature yeah yeah doming yeah okay then we got another really small one here at 1243 universal that would have been at um 443 pacific standard time yeah you can see it's all Sharpen points. Yeah, more doming. Might be, well, we got rounded ones here. It started out with harmonic tremors. It started out. Yeah. And can I pull it over? No. I'll just go there. Yeah, went into more volcanic and harmonic tremors near the end. Okay. And I believe I did that one, I think, 948. Um, yeah, slow moving tremor there at 8.49. Now that's universal time. Yeah, volcanic tremors there. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, well, we got two here. Slow moving tremors. And then that one right there. Um, 7.02. I haven't done that one. Slow moving tremor. 
Look at that. Look how close the magma is to the surfaces and the gases. Let me go check the gases if I find that site again. This site has not been updated since the 30th. And I joked about or laughed about how they said there was, um, I believe, 19 earthquakes um, within a week or something like that. Um, the largest earthquake was a magnitude 1.0. They did admit that there was elevated seismicity going on. But, yeah, it's been a week and they haven't updated it. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to carbon dioxide. Okay, yeah. All right. I found it right there. I think I did my report around the 4th, I want to say. Yeah, and you can see it's going up for that. Um, H2O and CO2 isn't working. Supposedly, the vent temperature it went down and then it went back up. Hydrogen sulfide. Yeah, that settled down from my report when I did last. Supposedly, sulfur dioxide is it elevated a little bit, but it's holding steady. Water vapor. Yeah, it went up around the 4th when I did my report and then it's gone down and the CO2 SO2 is not working you think they get up there and get it working or if the data is collected from there to their office um, yeah but it's not working either way and then wind speed yeah you can see here it only goes to the fifth and today's the seventh yeah same with the uh, carbon dioxide I don't know why they got it so far behind. So if they don't report it, does that mean it didn't happen? <laughs> so the last earthquake they are reporting is at 312 Universal Time. Let's see if I can find it right there. Okay, I think I reported that. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I reported that one. Okay, let's extract that. Yeah, doming. Yeah, okay. So I went to the monitor there where the doming is happening. And I wanted to see uh, what kind of gases we got coming up when these small earthquakes occurred. Okay, right there's one. And we'll go back to the spectrogram and another one. Yeah, I already showed you the popping that was going on. And then this was earlier, um, 2200 universal time, which was around um, 1, 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Yeah, here we got 2100. Yeah, yeah, look at the gases that came up. Yep, and the heated water. Yeah. Slow moving tremors. You can see that there, more popping. Got a line of melt there. Right there, real faint. Yeah. I'm just coming down a little bit and seeing what was going on. Yeah. Faint pockets of melt. Real faint. Okay, again, this is um, the center where the eruption happened. Let's go back. And I haven't looked at this one here. This one's really cockeyed. Look at that. Yeah, the monitor was knocked off kilt. Let's look at the seismic signature. We got some more over here. Yeah, let me come down. Oh, there's, is it going to show? There we go. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah. Okay, this one here is SWF2, which again is on the west side, I believe. Let me check again. No, it's not. Okay, where is it at? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, kind of southwest. Yeah. You don't want it blowing. The next time it goes 
going in that direction because of all the major cities that you got. Yeah, when it went off to the north, um, it spared a lot of major cities. And yeah, you don't want it going off because, <laughs> yeah, let's bring this out. Yeah, how far would the ash go? Here we got Olympia, Ridgefield, um, and Portland down here to the south. Yeah, generally the winds would carry uh, most of the ash going east. But yeah, this whole area was um, covered in ash when it blew to the north. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be scary. Vancouver. Yeah. You know, when you get the ash, it, it could settle on the power lines and you could have um, shorting of um, the transformers and the power lines if there's an, um, a lot of ash that settles and calls, causes arcing of the power lines. You don't want that. But that's the monitor right there. SWF2. And then we got more thickening here. Let me bring up. Oh, am I off the line? I don't know. There we go. Hard to keep it on the line sometimes. And then let me pull this over so you can see where I'm for the time frame where I'm pulling this. Yeah. And then when I pulled the files this morning, what do we have? Okay, right there. Yeah, gases. Lots of gases. And then we've got the little earthquakes that I showed you on the other monitor. Yeah, not good. Anyways, there's my update. A little lengthy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much once again for the cups mm -hmm. of coffee. You know, the sun's just coming up here where I'm at. Um, you know, it was still dark when I got up. I wish they just leave um, the clocks alone. I'm just going to bring it down, zip through here. Yeah, and there's that one, yeah. That's probably the largest one today at 312 on this monitor. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. Bye -bye.